Hi everyone, Jason here with Stateside. We wanted to do a video on a topic that comes up a lot for running a tank off a pressure system and uh, if a pressure washer is adequate enough to run it, and most gas pressure washers will. We have a 100 gallon tank here. This is a mobile wash unit that we build in house. This is a stateside mobile wash and uh, we run a seven horsepower extreme gas engine with this with a high performance pump. We're getting ready to start this up the first time. Most of our units, all of our units will pass inspection three times before we put them uh, out on the market or for sale or return it or release it to a customer that has purchased it or put it on layaway. So we're getting ready to start this here. This thing will not um, most likely pump water. Some do, some don't. We run a lot of different pumps with these uh, units here, a lot of different options for what the customer wants uh, to purchase. If they want a high-end pump, top shelf, or if they want just uh, economical, heavy-duty, high-performance pump, this would be a, a considered a high-performance pump. They're uh, really good quality. But uh, we're gonna start it up, show you that it's probably not gonna pump water, and we're gonna show everyone how to properly let the air out of the system on a specific pump like this, um, where they run into issues where it won't pump water, they think something's bad with the pressure washer, or something's wrong. Most of the time it's just the air, you need to get the air out of the manifold, it's kind of like bleeding brakes, and uh, we will get that going and show you how to properly do it. This topic, again, comes up a lot. And there's a lot of people that struggle with this, even units as we coach them and we get them on out uh, and coach the customers, show them how to do it, everything is great, and then they, they struggle with it. So this video is gonna really help a lot on uh, this type of topic. So on the manifold of the pump, this one specific is two different fittings here. Um, a lot of the high-end pumps will have just uh, on the side of the pump on the brass manifold or whether it's nickel, uh, it will have the 17 millimeter on the side. You can bleed it off of that. Main thing is just being careful and not tightening these while the machine's running or um, loosening them while the machine's running at first because these you can strip these out. Once you strip them out, then they're done. Yeah, the pump's done. There's nothing you can really do with that. So uh, there's two here. Well, I'm gonna release the top one first. If that doesn't let out some of the air and let it allow to pump, then I'll release the bottom one here. And all it is is just relieving pressure. The problem is when you're running a tank system, there's no pressure. If you're running a faucet like over here, you know that you have 40 to 60 psi in the uh, pressure in the faucet there that'll push the air out. But when you're running on a tank then you've got nothing. So the, the air and the water come to a agreement here and then they just stop pushing. Well, um, we gotta force that air out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break a line and we're gonna get that air out. So let me start it first. Let's uh, get it going there and then we'll see about how this operates. Start it up here. I'm gonna open this top line. This is a five millimeter on this specific pump. Every pump is different. Not There's not one that's the same, but they all function the same. So we need a bottom line is we need to get the air out of the manifold of the pump and we need to start pumping water. So I'm gonna release this. You'll see some bubbles come out and some air pockets. If it doesn't, then I'll start it while the machine is already out and then we'll get the uh, air to pump out. If not, I'll break the bottom one down. As you can see, some water, it took a minute, second for the water to come out. That was letting the air purge out of the system. And then you kind of started to see it started to flow more and more and more, uh, higher flow. That means we're getting the air out. Also, letting it run for 20, 30 seconds, making sure all the air gets out of the system, because you might have to do this twice sometimes. But once it's primed, it's primed. So 
snug there, go a quarter turn and it's there. So I'm gonna start it, let it run. It could take up to 25, 30 seconds here to start pumping water. We're gonna start it again. We're gonna follow along and see if we start pumping some water. And there we go. It's all purged, ready to go. This answers the question, how do I get a uh, pressure washer to run off a tank? Most people think their pressure washers are defective or they're not capable of operating. It's not that the pumps, they, most gas pressure washers and these pumps, uh, they come with a system. But once the water, gravity, gravity plays a huge effect. Gravity's got to get the water there. Once the water gets there, they have a system that will pick it or prime and pick up the water. But will it pull from a tank? No, we don't run the, the pressure washers where you run a, uh, electric pump in the middle between a tank to the pressure washer it's not adequate they're fire hazards you don't need them you just properly need to uh, purge the air and get this thing going so I hope this answers a lot of questions don't forget to uh, check us out on Instagram stateside under scroll equipment or uh, stop by one of our stores we're glad to help we get you good pricing and get you a great unit and we also help you purge the system if you need it as well we're here for all our customers thanks so much and have a great day everyone